or a digital t-shirt shop. So I was having a discussion earlier about uh, health and safety related to pre-treating your t-shirts with direct-to-garment printing. Um, so as I was doing some research into this and whether these chemicals really were harmful, uh, I came across a post on the t-shirt forum uh, that I'm going to draw up here. <clears throat> and it was by Estiva, Estiva, which I don't know who Estiva is, um, but Estiva, uh, right here under DuPont Pretreatment Health Issues, uh, started talking about how Uh, Steve, I'm going to assume it's a dude, okay? So this dude, a Steve, um, started getting sick. And, I mean, sick so much so that, you know, he started getting... And as I was reading through this stuff, I was like, holy crap. Uh, you know, between... Um, over time, he couldn't breathe. Ankle swelling. Uh you know, dizziness, immobility, joint pain, foot pain, excessive heat, uh, fainting. Uh, he went through MRIs and x-rays and CT scans and, and all of this stuff as they were trying to figure out what was wrong with him. And then it ends up being that he was diagnosed with, uh, I don't even know how to say it, Lof Lofgren syndrome, a type of Sarcoid. Sarcoid. I don't even know how to say this. Sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis. Sar sarcoidosis. Um, you know, and it's been taking months to get better. And as I read through all of these little posts that people have, have mentioned on here, you know, I would probably say... You know, and I've I, I read through some some pros and cons and some people who are like, hey, thanks for the information. And, you know, there was one where somebody was saying, like, look, you know, common sense. Uh, you know, you, you, you know, don't tell pe people specifically to have common sense. The whole reason why they put warning labels on things is because uh, sometimes there can just plain be a perception that something's not toxic or something's not going to harm you. I I know I use things around the house all the time and chemicals and things like that. And I rarely, rarely use gloves and things like that. Um, but clearly the things can harm you, you know, cleaning solutions and different things like that. And clearly this is a type of chemical with bonding agents of some sort in it that you honestly have no idea what it is. And... You know, I, even with myself, I do tend to, I would think I'm a little more on the common sense side, but I would say I probably had no common sense even related to this, where I, you know, even up until now, I've been doing this since, you know, the beginning of the year. And now finally at this point, I'm going, yeah, I probably ought to have some safety goggles and some, you know, a respiratory mask and some gloves and, you know, really keep it off my skin and things like that. Because it's kind of taken itching, this excessive itching, in order to actually, you know, fix it. Now, um, I do actually have arthritis too. Check this out. <clears throat> so, knuckles. Look at this. Good knuckle right there. See that I got like a little side of a lump over on, I don't know, I can't even point to it, on the right side of that finger. Check out that one. Look at those lumps on that finger. You know, it started to hurt so bad. This has nothing to do with this. I'm just showing it to you. <laughs> so you can be like, wow, look at those knots on those knuckles right there. Uh, and that one's got some too. But oh my gosh, so, so incredibly painful. Um, I mean, at first, <laughs> at first my kids would even touch my hands. And I'd be like, you know, you know, lash out in pain. It hurts so bad, even to just have them grabbed or touched and things like that. Um, I've been taking some stuff for it to, you know, for the arthritis and stuff, and it hasn't hurt as bad lately. But um, you know, I mean, health things happen. You know, they ha they happen, but they 
they slow you down and they make life uncomfortable and things like that. And so you stop and you think about this. Well, then the previous video that I just did, the health risk is, minim is, is minimal based on the contents that are in this. There's minimal health risk, but there's obviously still a health risk. There's an irritant of some sort uh, in it that potentially could be irritating, and I really honestly feel like I got the irritating end of it because my itch still itches. So, um, and so, but I'm hoping that gloves, you know, respirators, some safety goggles, keeping it off of my skin over time is going to help that itch kind of go away so that I, I'm not scratching all the time uh, anyways but I thought the information was interesting so you know this in particular you know sometimes everybody's body's different and some people react different to different chemicals and different things and and stuff like that and I feel bad for this uh, Steva S uh, Steva whoever that dude is anyways um you know, that he's having to go through that. I, I, you know, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. It's difficult, you know, it, and it, it puts uh, a lot of uh, pressures on you just general living, you know. Um, you know, but the, um, I'm going to take the safety precautions myself. So uh, take me a couple days to get the stuff from Amazon, and then we'll kind of, just go forward using it and see if we can make a, a, a good habit out of just using it consistently, finding a way to ventilate, uh, making sure that we are uh, using this stuff so that you know we're just not getting that exposure. I guess a little bit of safety precaution, less itching, less chances of any adverse reaction taking place is, is going to be worth it. So... Might be something you want to consider if you get into direct -to garment printing or if you have your own printer, maybe you want to look at that and kind of consider it. And I'm not, I'm not doing this to say anything bad about Firebird or Anajet or anything like that. Honestly, they provide a great service. And sometimes you just have to do what you have to do in order to make things work. But, um, you know, they may... Just, just for them, and if they happen to come across this at some point, they just may want to ensure that, you know, and I don't know, they, I, I used to go back, I'd probably find out that they said, hey, you know, it's a good idea to wear a respirator and some goggles, and I just, I was like, hey, I'm printing t-shirts, what'd you say? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so anyways, I don't, I don't have any ill will towards either of them and don't want to slander them or speak ill of them in any way because I've been very pleased with the products and the quality of the products that I've gotten from them um, and the service that they've provided. Um, but, so you're aware, try to be safe, take some precautions, use some safety protection if you're going to go about uh, using uh, the uh, a pre-treatment solution of some sort. I'm going to advise that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.